And joining us now on the phone, we have Pamela Yellen. She is the author of Bank on Yourself. Pamela, are you there? I am here, Heather. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a picture of your website up right now. Tell us a little bit about your book. Well, for more than 20 years, my husband and I have been doing all the right things financially, and we have little or nothing to show for it, like so many people that I've talked to, other than the money that we put in a, in a whole lot of sleepless nights. So we figured that maybe it was us. You know, maybe we were just not good at this. So what we did is we decided to hire three of the country's top financial planners and money managers, and all three of them ended up losing us money during the longest-running bull market in history. So the reality is that if what we have been taught to do were actually working, then why are so many Americans wondering if they'll ever be able to retire and what they're going to have to give up to do it? So, Pamela, you investigated more than 450 yeah. savings and investing strategies. What is your advice then? Well, the most exciting solution that I uncovered is an asset class that has increased in value every single year for more than 150 years, and that is dividend-paying whole life insurance, but not the kind that most financial experts and advisors talk about. What we found is that there are some little-known options that you can add on to these policies that make the cash value grow up to 40 times faster. And what it does is it gives people a stable financial foundation and a guaranteed predictable income in retirement. And one interesting thing, Heather, we're showing people how to use these policies to become their own source of financing so that they can eliminate banks and finance companies from their lives. So during the worst of the credit crunch, the credit crisis, people with these policies were able to get access to capital even when no banks were lending by answering just one question, how much do you want? So you think people should ask the right questions, save before investing, and then you say demand guarantees, right? Yes. Exactly, and the first tip is that, as you mentioned, you should be asking the right questions. One of those questions is, how much will my retirement account be worth on the day that I plan to retire? Most people have no clue. They hope that their plan will be worth a certain amount, but hope is not a good strategy to pin your financial future on. So ask that question. If you don't know the answer to it, you don't have a plan. You're gambling pure and simple. The second tip is that you should save before you invest. This is something that's been lost on most Americans. We need to have a solid financial foundation that we can fall back on in order to weather tough times. 71% uh, of all workers, according to a recent survey, said that they would have trouble meeting their current financial obligations if their uh, paycheck were delayed by even one week. So the old rule of thumb that you should set aside three to six months worth of savings and worth of your income in a safe and liquid environment no longer holds, as a lot of people found out the hard way. What you really need is to put aside at least one to two years' worth of your income in something that you can access that is safe and liquid. I've got to tell you, Pamela, I'm watching um, as people are uh, chatting here on our message board, and we have one person here that said, you know, hope is not a good strategy. Yes. It but, is not a good strategy. Okay. <laughs> and what do you say to, to um, people who say that this, investors call this too good to be true? How do you answer that charge? Uh, too good to be true. Uh, yes, uh, there are critics of this strategy, and uh, they have, I have offered to debate every single one of them, and none of them have taken me up on, on that offer. Here's the thing. Wall Street has lost over 40% of our money twice over the last decade. How do we know that's not about to happen again? And you know what, Heather? Wall Street got rich when we were losing our shirts because Wall Street gets paid big bucks whether we win or lose. And here's what Wall Street won't tell you. The Dow is above 12,000 right now. And I'm going to ask a question that may sound a, bit, a little bit off the wall, but when do you think the Dow will hit 27,000? Well, I know that you've thrown the gauntlet out there to Wall Street and financial experts with a $100,000 challenge, right? Right, 
Right. The hundred thousand dollar challenge is uh, this. That's here's what it is. I have a mission to ensure that no American will ever again suffer another lost decade or even a single lost year. And so I have put my money where my mouth is, and I have a standing offer to pay $100,000 cash to the first person who can show that they use a different strategy that can match or beat the many advantages and guarantees of the, the strategy that I've spelled out in my book, Bank on Yourself. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, if there is something out there, I want to know about it. I want to be able to use it for my own family, and I would want to share it with other Americans as well. All right, Pamela, I have to wrap you up now. Thank you very much for joining us, though. You are sharing it with other Americans with your book, Bank on Yourself. Um, and people can also find you on Twitter, right, at Pamela Yellen, right? They can, and at bankonyourself.com. Okay, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks.